Hello, welcome to Texas Style Cuisine. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to truss a chicken two different ways. All right, today, I'm gonna to show you two ways to truss a chicken. One is gonna be with butcher's twine, and one is the other way in case you don't have any twine at all. So first, what I'm gonna do is, is just show you with the twine. We're gonna take our chicken, turn it around here. If you wanna trim off a little bit of the fat, that's okay. Won't hurt anything. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find his tail. And I'm gonna take my butcher's twine and simply wrap it around the tail. Now you don't have to tie it on the tail, just wrap it around. I'm gonna go under the legs, over the legs, and back under the legs, all right? If I see how I did that? Then I'm gonna run kinda of up low on the chicken, just right above his neck. I'm gonna take this and get about three twists on the string. Tie a knot in it. Now, that chicken is nice and tight and it will cook very evenly. That's why you truss a chicken, is to hold it tight so that when you roast it, the legs and the wings don't get overcooked. All right? That's if you have butcher's twine. If you have no butcher's twine, this is how we're gonna do it. Simply take your chicken and find this loose skin, all right? On this loose skin, I'm just gonna take my boning knife and I'm gonna make a little cut right here and another one right here on this loose skin. Take your opposite leg and tuck it in. All right? Then go to this side, opposite leg. Cut the hole a little bit bigger. Tuck it in. Give me a hard time here. There we go. Now that chicken is trussed. Now the wings don't have the string to hold them in. So I'm just gonna tuck them behind them like that for the wings. Okay. Now, again, we have a nice little tight package and our chicken can be put into the oven and roasted and it will cook evenly, all right? Everybody see how that's done? 